Tap changers are devices that can increase or decrease the output secondary voltage by changing the turn ratio of primary or secondary winding. A tap changer is usually installed on a high voltage section of a two winding transformer due to the low current in that area. The changers are also provided on high voltage windings of an electrical transformer if there is sufficient control of voltage. The change of voltage is affected when you change the number of turns of the transformer provided with taps. Tap changers are devices that can increase or decrease the output secondary voltage by changing the turn ratio of primary or secondary winding. A tap changer is usually installed on a high voltage section of a two winding transformer due to the low current in that area. The changers are also provided on high voltage windings of an electrical transformer if there is sufficient control of voltage. The change of voltage is affected when you change the number of turns of the transformer provided with taps. Onload tap changers LTC or OLTC regulate the turns ratio and thus the voltage ratio of an electrical transformer. Unlike its no load counterpart, unload tap changers do this without interrupting the load current. There are two main load tap changer designs, the reactants and the resistive types. Load tap changers are often employed with conservator type transformers, but seldom with hermetic transformers. The amount in LTC can regulate the output voltage varies, although a typical range is plus or minus 10% of rated output voltage. For large distribution transformers, it is typical to have 16 taps above and 16 taps below the rated voltage. Each tap adjusts the voltage by 0.625% until it is either a maximum of 10% above rated voltage or 10% below rated voltage. On load tap changer, its primary feature is that during operation, the main circuit of the switch should not be opened. This means that no part of the switch should get the short circuit. Due to the expansion and interconnection of the power system, it becomes crucial to change the transformation taps numerous times every day for achieving the necessary voltages per the load demand. This demand of continuous supply doesn't allow you to disconnect the transformer from the system for offload tap changing. Hence, unload tap changers are preferred in the majority of power transformers. Two conditions must be fulfilled while tapping, the load circuit should be intact to avoid arcing and to prevent contact damage, while adjusting the tap, no part of the windings should be short-circuited, in the diagram, S is the diverter switch, and 1, 2 and 3 are the selector switches. The tap changing employs the center tapped reactor R as shown in the diagram. The transformer operates when the switches 1 and S are closed. To change to tap 2, switch S must be opened and switch 2 must be closed. To complete the tap change, switch 1 is operated and switch S is closed. Remember that the diverter switch operates on load and no current flows in the selector switches during tap changing. When you tap change, only half of the reactance that limits the current is connected in the circuit. Offload no load tap changer, the taps can be changed after completely isolating a transformer from the circuit. This kind of changer is generally installed on a distribution transformer. The tap changing can be carried out when the transformer is in offload or no load condition. In a dry type transformer, the cooling phenomenon takes place mainly with natural air. Unlike in on-load tap changing where the arc quenching is limited by oil when the transformer is on load, the tapping with an off-load tap changer is only carried out when the transformer is in OFF switch condition. It is often utilized in situations where turn ratio doesn't need to be changed much, and de-energizing is allowed in low-power and low-voltage transformers. In some, tap changing may be done with a rotary or slider switch. It can be mainly seen in solar power projects. Offload tap changers are also used in high voltage transformers. The system of such transformers includes a no load tap changer on the primary winding. This changer helps accommodate variations within a narrow band around the nominal rating. In such systems, the tap changing will often be done only once at the time of installation. However, it can also be changed during a scheduled outage to address any long term change in the system's voltage profile. It is imperative that you choose the right kind of tap changer based on your requirements. Substations perform a number of functions in an electrical power grid, connecting transmission lines and generators and loads to each other, transforming the power from one voltage to another, isolating faulted or overloaded lines or equipment, controlling the power system voltage and power flow. We use large and complex mechanical devices to perform these functions. In order to keep these devices operating correctly, they need to be inspected, 
tested and maintained by knowledgeable technicians. Circuit breakers are the devices that connect and disconnect power lines, transformers, etc. in the power system. They also isolate faulted lines or equipment from the power system. These two functions may require the circuit breaker to make and break currents ranging from a few amps to tens of thousands of amps while operating at potential levels ranging from thousands of volts to hundreds of thousands of volts. When the circuit breaker is closed it is required to carry up to its rated current in some cases as high as 4000 amps. Transformers are the devices that transform the voltages from higher voltages to lower voltages or lower voltages to higher voltages. This is accomplished through the design of the coil's windings in the transformer and is a function of the turns ratio the number of turns in one winding relative to the number of turns in another. When supplying power to a customer load, the transformer output must be kept at a relatively constant voltage regardless of the changing current required by the load. This is accomplished by installing a load tap changer onto the transformer. The LTC actually changes the transformer turns ratio by moving among a number of access points or taps on one of the two windings, thus either raising or lowering the voltage supply to the customer. In some aspects, an LTC is similar to a circuit breaker it makes and breaks load current while operating at high voltage. It is required to carry the current that is being supplied by the transformer to the load. One of the main differences between an LTC and a circuit breaker are the number of operations they are required to perform. While most circuit breakers may perform a few hundred opening and closing operations in 20 years, an LTC may be required to operate change taps a few hundred times per week. Circuit breakers and LTCs are mechanical devices and have numerous moving parts that will wear over time due to movement and the amount of current they interrupt. LTCs are required to move more often than circuit breakers and, overall, may interrupt more current over time. Here's an example a breaker can operate once a year and interrupt 5000 amps. If an LTC operates 50 times or more per week, interrupting 100 amps on each operation, that's 5000 amps interrupted per week. This repeated use means LTCs require careful attention through inspection, testing, and refurbishing. If an LTC fails, the entire transformer will be out of service. This outage will have an adverse effect on numerous distribution circuits and an adverse effect on the remaining power grid due to the need to reroute the load to supply the affected circuits. There are potentially hundreds of LTC designs currently in operating substations. The most efficient and effective method to keep them working properly is for technicians to have a general understanding of how they operate, how to test them, and how to maintain them. With that foundational knowledge, it is much easier to understand and adjust for the differences in designs of various LTCs. What are on-load tap changers? On-load tap changers OLTCs are crucial components in the power system due to their purpose of maintaining the voltage output desired. To maintain these voltages, they are required to perform frequent operations. When maintained properly and operated within design limits, these components should provide many years of reliable service. Transformers equipped with onload tap changers OLTCs are crucial components in the power system due to their purpose of maintaining the voltage output desired. Key challenges, failures in tap changers account for over 20% of transformer failures, often resulting in fire or explosions. Arcing, heating, mechanical frictions and wear are the key factors leading to OLTC failures. While the condition of tap changer can be assessed with regular testing, this is often time-consuming for asset managers and costly. Maintenance is typically scheduled based on the number of operations and is particularly intrusive, involving human intervention that can possibly cause unexpected issues compromising the tap changer operation. Types of unload tap changers The type of OLTC should influence the plan for inspections and online out-of-service testing. There are two distinct types of OLTCs. First, bolt-on or welded-on OLTCs are designed to fit onto the sidewall of a transformer. Second, in-tank type OLTCs are designed to install inside the tank and suspend from the cover. Both designs can include arcing and oil-type diverter switches using resistors, series reactors, or vacuum interrupters. These various components are designed for installation inside the tank and to be suspended from the cover. Modern technology, such as vacuum interrupters and the diverter switch, has greatly improved OLTC performance. However, there are still many OLTCs in service today based on older technology which is much more susceptible to significant wear and tear on critical elements. 
This wear is frequently the cause of misoperation or even unexpected failures when not properly maintained. This article will document some of these failure modes and steps that can be taken to detect the symptoms of failure before an undesired outcome occurs. There are several methods used to determine whether the equipment is operating normally. They include time-based maintenance TBCM, condition-based maintenance CBM, online condition maintenance, and traditional time-based maintenance TBM or number of operations. These various methods can be employed individually, but in most cases, they are combined for a more thorough analysis of operating condition. The type of OLTC should influence the plan for inspections and online out-of-service testing. There are two distinct types of OLTCs, bolt-on or welded-on OLTCs designed to fit onto the sidewall of a transformer, and in tank type OLTCs designed to install inside the tank and suspend from the cover. Both designs can include arcing and oil-type diverter switches using resistors, series reactors, or vacuum interrupters. These various components are designed to carry the circulating currents during a tap change. Mechanical defects and observable symptoms for problems, the OLTC is the major mechanical moving device on a transformer. As with any mechanical device, movement equates to wear of components over time and frequency of operation. There is a mechanical operations counter on every OLTC. It records an event adding every time the OLTC operates. It does not record which position it moved from and whether it moved up or down. The tap position indicator on every OLTC is a mechanical device that provides the current tap position and the range of movement the mechanism has operated, which is recorded using resettable drag hands on the indicator. By the relatively simple addition of a remote tap position sensor, a monitor will track and trend the total operations, number of operations at each position, and the I2T square to provide an idea of contact wear. If the monitoring system is also providing control, the tap position sensor may also be used to provide positive feedback to the control system that the tap changer successfully changed taps when the raise or lower command was issued. The main function of a tap changer is voltage regulation. Secondary LV voltage of a transformer depends on the load and losses. Thus to maintain terminal voltage to be constant since most devices are designed to operate efficiently under certain voltage limits only regulation of output voltage of transformer becomes necessary. There are two types of tap changers based on operation mode, on load tap changer continuity of supply is maintained, off load tap changer, supply interruption during change. Basic principle, let us look into the basic principle of operation. We have, versus by VP equal NS by NP turns ratio or versus equal NS by NP into VP, in the above equation versus is the quantity need to be controlled. In order to achieve this we can control any of NS, NP or VP. In real world, the change in primary voltage is never done. Thus leaving behind the only possibility being either controlling NS or NP. Changing NS or NP means changing the active number of turns of secondary or primary side of the transformer. Tap changers is normally provided in HV winding here primary NP as the current will be very less compared to LV interruption of high currents is a difficult task and hence arcing and heat losses will be minimum. Other reasons include, the number of turns in the HV winding is large and hence a fine voltage variation can be obtained. LV winding is placed nearer to the core and HV winding is placed outside. Therefore accessing HV winding is comparatively easier. Coming back to our equation, now we have versus is inversely proportional to NP since VP and NS stay constant unchanged. Let us consider different situations with the help of an example. What are the failure modes of on-load tap changers? The OLTC is the major mechanical moving device on a transformer. As with any mechanical device, movement equates to wear of components over time and frequency of operation. The failure modes of the two types of OLTC can be the same or segregated, depending on the type of testing or monitoring performed. While some failure modes can be detected with sensors and systems, others can only be determined with a combination of sensors and laboratory testing oil, for example. Online monitoring for onload tap changers, why online monitoring, according to a recent Seiger Transformer Reliability Survey, onload tap changers OLTC have one of the highest failure rates of any transformer component. If an OLTC fails, a transformer cannot regulate voltage. There are still many OLTCs in service today based on older technology which is much more susceptible to significant wear and tear on critical elements. 
This wear is frequently the cause of misoperation or even unexpected failures when not properly maintained. How to monitor on load tap changers, implementing online monitoring for an OLTC is relatively easy. There is a mechanical operations counter on every OLTC. It records an event cumulative every time the OLTC operates. The tap position indicator on every OLTC is a mechanical device that provides the current tap position and the range of movement the mechanism has operated, which is recorded using resettable drag hands on the indicator. By the simple addition of a remote tap position sensor, a monitor will track and trend the total operations, number of operations at each position, and the I2T square to provide an idea of contact wear. The monitoring system can provide control if desired. It can also monitor an alarm on the frequency of reversing switch operations, the time since it last moved through that position to wipe the contacts, key parameters for OLTC monitoring, OLTC tap position tracking, OLTC tap changer differential temperature, OLTC motor energy plus tracking, OLTC contact wear, reversing switch operation, traditional DGA and physical analysis lab of oil in external compartment, DGA ratios Duval triangle of oil in external compartment. Mechanical defects and observable symptoms for problems The OLTC is the major mechanical moving device on a transformer. As with any mechanical device, movement equates to wear of components over time and frequency of operation. There is a mechanical operations counter on every OLTC. It records an event adding every time the OLTC operates. It does not record which position it moved from and whether it moved up or down. The tap position indicator on every OLTC is a mechanical device that provides the current tap position and the range of movement the mechanism has operated, which is recorded using resettable drag hands on the indicator. On load tap changing OLTC transformers play a vital role in electrical power systems, offering both advantages and disadvantages. Understanding these can help in making informed decisions regarding their deployment. Let's delve into both aspects, advantages, voltage regulation, OLTC transformers enable precise voltage regulation by adjusting tap settings according to load variations. This ensures stable voltage levels, crucial for the efficient operation of electrical equipment. Load flexibility, these transformers can adapt to fluctuating loads without interrupting power supply. By changing tap positions while the transformer is energized, they cater to varying demand, enhancing system reliability. Reduced energy losses, optimizing tap settings based on load conditions minimizes energy losses in the system. This efficiency improvement translates to lower operational costs and a more sustainable energy infrastructure. Enhanced equipment lifespan, maintaining consistent voltage levels with OLTC transformers prevents over-voltage or under-voltage scenarios, safeguarding connected equipment from damage and extending its operational lifespan. Grid stability, OLTC transformers contribute to grid stability by stabilizing voltage fluctuations caused by load changes or grid disturbances. This helps maintain system integrity and prevents cascading failures. Disadvantages of OLTC, complexity, OLTC transformers are more complex than their conventional counterparts due to the addition of tap changing mechanisms. This complexity can result in higher initial costs, increased maintenance requirements, and potential reliability issues. Maintenance challenges, the moving parts involved in tap changing mechanisms require regular maintenance to ensure smooth operation. Failure to maintain these components can lead to operational disruptions and costly repairs. Limited speed, while OLTC transformers can adjust tap settings quickly, there is still a limit to their response time. Rapid load changes or grid disturbances may exceed this response capability, leading to transient voltage deviations. Risk of failure, the reliance on mechanical components for tap changing introduces the risk of mechanical failure. Environmental factors such as temperature variations and contamination can exacerbate this risk, potentially causing downtime and revenue loss. Compatibility issues, integrating OLTC transformers into existing power systems may pose compatibility challenges, especially if the control and protection systems are not designed to accommodate their specific requirements. In conclusion, OLTC transformers offer significant benefits in terms of voltage regulation, load flexibility, and energy efficiency. However, they also come with inherent complexities and maintenance challenges that need to be carefully managed. Understanding these advantages and disadvantages is essential for optimizing the performance and reliability of electrical power systems.